Well, welcome, 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 everybody. It is Tuesday evening again, my favorite part of the week, uh, because here we are at uh, Business Owners Smashing Online. And uh, I've got a great uh, uh, session tonight uh, with a, uh, someone by the name of Karina Essa, who uh, uh, discovered we met uh, sort of uh, back in the early part of uh, this decade. So this is when I was uh, new over in uh, Australia. So um, she's going to be talking about uh, how to make your small business impossible to resist on social media. But before we get into that, uh, for those that have been that, that are here for the first time, my name is Nick Cree. I'm your host for this evening, and this is Business Owners Smashing Online. So Business Owners Smashing Online is a weekly webinar for entrepreneurs, business owners, uh, people thinking about getting into business, and those that are maybe looking for something to do because they're locked at home uh, and uh, not able to uh, get outside and looking for sort of uh, some ways to uh, connect and join with the world. So whatever it is, uh, this is for you. We've got a, a bunch of online tools to share with you tonight. Uh, we've got a, a strategy session with uh, Corinna uh, to share with you tonight. And uh, feel free to uh, chat, drop your uh, links and whatever into chat and interact with each other as well. And uh, you can ask questions on the way through. But before we get going, who have we got here? So uh, let's open up the floor and uh, come and introduce yourself. Tell us your business and uh, what is it you're here for? What, uh, what are you hoping to get out of tonight? So who's going to kick us off tonight? Name, business, and what do you want to get out of tonight? Um, hey, Michael. Um, <laughs> Mike Palmer, Michael Palmer Consulting. Um, and what I hope to get out tonight is is just a better understanding of social media and how to make it work. Awesome, excellent. Yeah, it is one of those beasts that you never know what's going to happen with it. Uh, anyone notice that uh, Facebook was down overnight and this morning? So uh, yeah, there's a lot of people that panicked already thinking, what the heck am I going to do with my marketing? So there's a few email lists being activated out there today. <laughs> Excellent. Well, welcome along, Michael. All right. Who else we got here tonight? Well, my name is Anne Taylor. Hello, Anne. How are you? I'm very well. Awesome. I have an online business called uh, Aussie Products. Um, they're Australian products, all, fro all from Australian suppliers, and I supply worldwide. Awesome. What sort of products are they? Um, suede and wool. Boots, oh yeah, boots, jackets, coats, yeah, um, bush hats. Awesome, all good Aussie oh. stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is. Excellent, excellent. Oh well, welcome along tonight. What are you hoping to get out of tonight? Well, I've had a long journey. Um, I hired someone um, for my website, and they hacked me for six years. They so hacked you. Oh uh, yeah. And wow. this is a, a lot, if I told you the company and the type of person, you would gasp. But anyway, I have to start all over again. And I'm wondering the best way to do that. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, well, look, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, but you are in the right place as well. And you will pick up some things tonight that uh, uh, will help you there. And uh, yeah, the, the aim of tonight is really you can take away at least one or two things that you can do yourself to yes. uh to get cracking with it all so welcome along thank you awesome all right who else we got here tonight Hi, hey nick. Stephen, how are you been a wee while since i've seen you yes it has been nick um thank you and good to see you again um my, my name's Stephen sandor uh i have a business called inspiring business and i work with small business owners who our tagline is get your business ready for sale but don't sell it so you can retire into your business and what I'm, um, what I'm hoping to get out of it is I'd like to know what I don't know. Excellent. Yeah, that's a good area to uh, work in that. What is it? Uh, what you don't know, you don't know is what trips you up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what, Excellent. What, question, what questions should I be asking? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, good to see you back here again. All right, who else we got? Ron, how are you, Ron? G'day, Nick. Uh... Hi everybody, yeah, my name is Ron Beswick and um, together with my wife Ali, we've created a system we call the Become Unstuck and Unstoppable system. And that's all about helping business leaders and entrepreneurs 
who feel that they're stuck at a midlife, midlife crossroads uh, to take back control of their life and um, uncover that actually their best years are ahead of them. And uh, tonight, um, I've actually been following Karina for a little while by email and Facebook, and I thought it was about time I actually listened to what she has got to say. So I'm oh. all ears and ready to learn more. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Well, well uh, welcome along here again tonight. Thanks, Dick. All right. Who else we got here? Time for a couple more. Hey, old one. How are you? Hi. Hello, everyone. I'm great, thank you. Sorry about the loud music. I'm coming out of the gym. And that's what happens here at the gym. I get a bit excited. So uh, it's great to be here, as always. I haven't seen Karina for years. So it'll be so great to see her tonight. I'm really looking forward to seeing what she has to say. And of course, I can give away some tickets again at the end if you'd like to the free publicity secret masterclass at the end of the Zoom today. So happy awesome. to do some giveaways today. And hear what new information Karina has to share. And I have a media business, for those who don't know me, I help people get free publicity in online and offline media. Great to be here, thank you, Nick. Excellent. Jeff, as you're on fire at the moment too, I see you all over the place. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, all of your media stuff must be working. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, looking after self today at the gym. <laughs> uh, excellent, excellent, good to see. All right, time for one more. Who's going to be our lucky last? Yeah, I will. Hey, Rob. You, Rob. How are you going? Yeah, good, thanks. Now, well, this is my first um, first time on this, so... Excellent. Um, Welcome along. Yeah. yeah. Um, my business name is uh, Quick App, and um, so we use uh, state-of-the-art technology um, to allow us to build mobile apps for small businesses at a real effective price. So... And, um, you know, that's to help increase the capital value um, for a business. Yeah, like I said, all through a mobile app. Awesome. Excellent. Yeah, well, they're certainly uh, uh, very apt at the moment and uh, very topical. So, uh, yeah, great mm. to have you here. Thank you. All right. We've got, uh, what have we got? Not often we get two Ronnies on here. So, <laughs> so we've got the two Ronnies on here. We're sort of uh, Ron Beswick and Ron Peer. <laughs> Uh, we have wine time. Excellent, Jane. Yes, I could do with a glass of that myself. Actually, I've just come back from holiday, so um, I'm so, almost still on holiday. Um, and we have no camera due to Optus issues. Yeah, they've got a sort of uh, a few issues there. I was up in uh, Sunshine Coast, and we just got could get no internet up there uh, with Optus. So I really did have to have a break. So uh, you know, it was a small blessing in disguise. Excellent. Well, welcome along, everyone. Uh, this is Business Owners Smashing it Online. Uh, my name's Nick Cree, and uh, I'm your host for this evening. So let's uh, let's actually find out uh, what's happening tonight. So we do have uh, an agenda uh, for tonight, uh, and that is uh, we've got some uh, cool online tools to share with you tonight. So this is this week's roundup of uh, some of the things that I've found, some of the things that I've used and some uh, great uh, apps that are out there. Uh, then we've got uh, Karina coming on to talk to us about how to make your small business impossible to uh, resist on social media. She's just got a camera off at the moment. She's actually in uh, Dubai. Uh, at the moment. So um, uh, she's just sort of uh, ducked off to have a bit of lunch and she'll be back in time for uh, the presentation. Uh, and we will have uh, time for questions, prize draw. So um, she's, she's got a, a prize there. And uh, Old One's got some tickets. So I reckon we can give away some of your tickets uh, tonight to Old One. So thanks for that. Uh, and uh, then we'll close up around. Oh, I shouldn't actually say the time, should I? Because we've all entered into uh, daylight saving. So uh, that always mucks everybody up and sort of uh, knowing when the actual time is. So around about 7.30, my time. All right. Well, let's get underway with uh, checking in on Facebook, TikTok, uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, Instagram, whatever is your uh, app of choice or your social media of, uh, platform of choice. Uh, go and check in there. Feel free to tag me in. Uh, I'm on all of those platforms, so you should be able to uh, tag me into that. If you're here with someone, tag them in as well too. Uh, and um, I just happen to have Facebook up uh, and open on the screen. And uh, to check in there, it's really just uh, tapping on where you'd normally create a post. Some of the other platforms are a wee bit different, but on Facebook, you'll see a menu come up from the bottom. One of those things says check in. If you tap on that, 
uh, it will bring a list of uh, places around you. You may or may not see business owners smashing it online. If you don't see it, uh, just type it into the search bar and it will appear. Uh, tap on it. Uh, feel free to take a photo of the screen. Take a photo of yourself looking at the screen. Take a photo of where you are. You, you might be in the kitchen sort of uh, eating dinner. Wherever you are, just take a photo. That glass of wine probably would uh, go down well here as well too. So whatever you do, check in, and that helps us to uh, spread the word a little bit wider to those that um, uh, would be interested to come along at another time for those that have forgotten, and also helps to build up your uh, social media profile as well. All right, well, let's move on to the cool online tools section. All right, can you see my screen that says viral snare on the uh, top left hand side? Just give me a thumbs up if you can see that. Excellent. Oh. This is uh, really good. Uh, did you know that you can select more than one screen on Zoom? So if you hold the shift key down, you can select a number of screens and then you can sort of swipe through them. So uh, that's just made my life a whole lot uh, easier than having to stop sharing and sort of, uh, you know, go through the rigmarole of trying to find the screen and my four screens that I've got active here. All right, so the first one here, this has actually come in from someone who uh, is a regular attendee here. Uh, and he got approached uh, by this crowd called uh, Viral Snare to uh, post one of his videos. So he posted a video of him cycling uh, and uh, magpies swooping down and uh, attacking him. So it's obviously magpie season where they're uh, coming to, sw uh, to uh, swoop. So um, he managed to capture a lot of that on video. Uh, this crowd here called Viral Snare um, saw it and uh, contacted him and asked him whether he would be prepared to uh, license the video to them for them to use. Uh, and they would pay him 60% of what they made on it and they would get to uh, keep 40%, but they would get to keep uh, the rights to the uh, video. So, um, so Viral Snare has got a, uh, I think they've got a number of YouTube channels, they've got uh, social media sites, uh, all sorts of sites. So if you've got a captivating, interesting video, I think sort of kids and sort of uh, animals and all those sort of things uh, tend to work well, uh, then uh, you can also uh, submit it to a uh, place, uh, this place here, Viral Snare, um, and uh, they will pay you for it. So um, yeah, just a uh, interesting site, uh, a site here. Uh, for those who are looking for, uh, I don't know, uh, becoming famous uh, with some of your uh, videos that you've uh, got. But also you can uh, use some of these videos as well too. So there is a way to, uh, to be able to use those and embed those. Uh, and uh, you can go and browse their library and uh, you can see a whole lot of videos that, um, uh, that they have there. So there might be something that uh, might just be perfect uh, for, for, your, um, uh, for your campaigns. So there you go, that one there. So this is their YouTube channel. I think I might just turn that off. There we go. All right, so the uh, link to that is uh, Viral Snare. And uh, we'll put that up into chat. Uh, so if you're not sure where chat is, if you have a look down the bottom of your Zoom screen, uh, you will see a uh, icon like a speech bubble. If you click on that, that'll open up chat. And uh, we'll put all of those links into chat. And at the end of the evening, uh, you can save that. Uh, there are three little dots at the bottom right-hand side of chat. If you click on that, uh, you can save that entire chat to your uh, desktop and go and click on those links at a later time and go and uh, explore them at your leisure. All right, so that's the first one is called Virals Now. Next one is podcasting. So who's a podcaster here? Put up your hand. Yep, there are a few of us in the room there. So... Um, uh, I often get asked the question, what is a good podcasting platform? So um, there are plenty of good platforms out there. I just thought I would share the one that uh, I use. Uh, and this one is called uh, Blueberry. It's been around for a while uh, and uh, it will host your uh, podcast um, uh, files. Uh, and a podcast, can uh, you, you can upload either a video file or you can upload an audio file. So it will do both. Uh, one thing that you shouldn't do is to stream your or to host your uh, podcast files on your own website. You can, you shouldn't, uh, because uh, if you become famous and lots of people watch it, then uh, it will crash your website and potentially get you, you banned if you're on a shared server with others. So you really need a podcasting hosting service 
to uh, store your files. So Blueberry is uh, one of those. Great thing about Blueberry is uh, I run a WordPress website as well. Uh, they have got a, a plugin uh, that's uh, called PowerPress, uh, which you can install on the site and you can host uh, or you can post uh, your uh, podcast up on your website. You can host your files on uh, Blueberry on their hosting. Uh, but uh, people can come to your website and they can play the uh, podcast from your website. Plus, it will also uh, distribute it through uh, Spotify, uh, you know, Google uh, Podcasts, uh, iTunes, or what they call it, uh, I think uh, Apple Podcasts now. It's a whole stitcher. There's a whole lot of them out there. But once you've got it set up, it does take a wee bit to set up. Once you've got it set up, then uh, yeah, it's really as simple as uh, uploading your uh, file, publishing your post, and uh, uh, yeah, a service like Blueberry here will go and do uh, all the rest. Uh, it's not free. Uh, there is a yeah, there is a free version which uh, you can have a look at uh, and so work your way through it. Uh, but uh, it's not uh, expensive as well too. I think uh, cheapest plan is around about $12 a month on this. Uh, but as you start to get a bit more traction there, you're, you're, you're likely to be paying uh, or with any of the plat uh, plat platforms around about $20 to uh, $40 odd a month. So there you go. That is uh, blueberry.com uh, as a podcasting platform. If you're not podcasting, uh, I would uh, highly encourage you to explore it because it is uh, one of those um, uh, mediums that more people are uh, using. And uh, it, uh, someone said that it's more popular than video uh, because it's more accessible than uh, video because people can uh, listen to it and use it in a number of different forums. Uh, whereas video, you've got to be watching it. And I know that uh, as I was driving uh, to and from Sunshine Coast, uh, that was our podcast plat platform, listening to all the ones that uh, I wanted to uh, listen to that I hadn't quite got to. So there you go, that's Blueberry. Next one is a uh, canned responses. So how many people here find themselves typing the same thing over and over again? Uh, and it might be, let's say an email, you're, you're typing an email response and uh, someone asks you the same question, you're typing the same thing uh, again and again. So, you know, I get that with, um, you know, people asking probably the most common question we get from uh, this evening, uh, the next day is people saying, oh, look, I'm sorry, I really missed that. I really wanted to see it. Uh, have you uh, recorded it? Can I see a replay somewhere? So um, uh, rather than writing out the same response saying, go and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Smash Go YouTube channel, it'll be up there, uh, you know, the following day, which it will be up there. It'll be up here, up there tomorrow by the end of the day. Uh, so uh, you can use this um, uh, app here called Type Desk. And uh, what you do is you can write out your uh, sentence. You can, you can just type it and save it. Uh, and uh, then you've just got a uh, quick short keys that you uh, just tap and it will automatically just insert that into your email. So it's a massive uh, time saver. Emails are one place where you can use it where it really saves a lot of time. But um, uh, being in the coding industry, we also use it for code. So if we've got uh, uh, reusable code that we use for websites over and over and over again, we'll use type desk. Uh, to uh, save that code. And then it's just a, uh, a quick combination of keys to insert it where we need it in the um, uh, in the website files. But uh, you pretty much use it for anything. You could use it for your social media, if you're responding to social media um, uh, or um, whatever it is. There, there are a multitude uh, of uses. So um, uh, you can start for free uh, uh, with a free trial. So well worth doing that to find out the uh, power of it. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, it's not too expensive to uh, subscribe to it as well, except this one here has a lifetime deal. So one of my uh, all-time favorite sites is AppSumo. Uh, let's, I'll show you that one there. So those that don't know uh, AppSumo, they, that's uh, really a promotion place for people that have uh, apps and deals like these ones here. You go there and search for uh, TypeDesk. Hopefully it doesn't run out. There we go. Lifetime deal, 59 bucks. So rather than paying a monthly subscription for it, uh, then uh, it is $59 lifetime deal, pay for it once and uh, you have got it on your computer forever to uh, be able to use. So that's actually a pretty good deal. Uh, there are a few other um, uh, apps like this uh, and uh, they all come at a uh, monthly price. So, you know, two, three, four months of this and uh, it's paid for itself or maybe it's paid for itself. 
So there you go. That one there is called uh, typedesk.com. All right, next one I've got is Shorty SMS. So uh, SMS messages are a great way to uh, get in front of your audience. Um, and uh, they have a very, very high open rate. Uh, people tend to read SMS messages far more than they do email messages uh, because uh, SMS tends to be in that realm of personal messaging at the moment. So, um, uh, and you don't find too many people or too many promotions coming through on SMS. There are a few that, that come through, but it really hasn't got to that point where um, you know people are ignoring your messages. People will generally open uh, an SMS message. So uh, it does get a bit painful if you want to send out 1,500 messages uh, on your phone. Uh, so a service like this, Shorty SMS, allows you to, it's like a uh, CRM, a customer relationship management tool, uh, but for uh, SMS messages, uh, you can load up uh, your contacts with their uh, mobile numbers into the platform. Uh, they can subscribe uh, in the platform to you in the platform, or you can capture their details into the platform, uh, and you can send off your uh, SMS messages uh, in bulk to uh, all of your uh, contacts in there. Just a word of caution, though, uh, is uh, use it um, uh, use it carefully and use it sparingly. Uh, you don't want to be sort of sending a whole lot of stuff that you'd normally send an email uh, by SMS because you'll quickly find that people will start to unsubscribe or opt out of it. Uh, but, you know, if you're doing things like, uh, let's say, running an event like uh, we've got tonight uh, and you would just want to send a reminder, you know, five minutes before it's starting to say, hey, look, uh, webinar is about to start. Here's the link. Perfect for that sort of thing. If uh, someone has purchased a product from you, uh, again, uh, and, and, and there's a download link, uh, perfect to send them the download link on mobile because a lot of people are on mobile. Um, or if uh, they are a subscriber to your e-commerce store or uh, they're a subscriber to your podcast or whatever, then uh, you, know, uh, you can send uh, a, um, uh, a link to your catalog if you've got an uh, e-commerce store to say, hey, look, the spring specials are here or the, uh, you know, it is spring, isn't it? So yeah, that's, uh, that's probably... Um, uh, relevant or uh, if it's your podcast you can say here's the link to our next uh, podcast uh, uh, issue which is uh, has just been launched so you know you can use it for those short messages uh, and I would use it for that uh, rather than uh, you know sort of long campaigns at all so that one there is called shorty uh, sms.com again yes there is a price for it uh, what are we uh, looking at there I don't think it's terribly expensive oh this one's AppSumo too I, I must have spent my uh, holiday on AppSumo but um, this one here is also, uh, what have we got, $59. I'm not sure if it's a lifetime deal, this one here, uh, because you still have to pay for your uh, SMS uh, messaging. But uh, again, well worth checking out. And I think it'll, oh, I did look at this one um, uh, because I, I've used a uh, number of them. This one here, sort of um, bang for buck in terms of money, is a uh, very cost-effective uh, option. All right, next one here is uh, unlimited new Facebook group member answers, including their email. All right, that's an annoying video that just starts as soon as you open it. But despite that, uh, this one is called groupcollector.com. So how many people run a Facebook group here? Just give us a show of hands if you've got a Facebook group. No, some do. Yep, perfect. So um, uh, with Facebook groups, uh, one of the things that you can't do is to collect people's emails unless you ask them for it so but the problem is is that uh, the way that that happens is that you you um, uh, ask for their email and you might ask them a question like uh, do you agree to the terms and conditions of uh, membership here um, and uh, so you might have two or three uh, qualification questions but once you hit approve or decline uh, into the uh, into the group or out of the group uh, and you haven't written down that uh, email address or copy the email address it's gone and lost forever so what a group collector does is um, it will gather in you know, people to put their email address in that question you've asked it will collect the email address uh, it will um, save it either to a google sheet uh, or fire it through to uh, your crm so you can link it to your CRM. It links with Zapier, which is a tool there that allows you to link one app with another app. And it's got hundreds of uh, linkages there. Um, and so that means that uh, with Zapier, you can pretty much uh, you know, send that email to uh, any one of the applications that you, uh, that you use. 
And the other thing it will do too is it will send out a welcome message. So if you've got a pre-formatted welcome message, it'll send a, a welcome message out. Uh, and if you're declining people, it will uh, it can send out a uh, decline message as well too. Um, now, uh, this is one I just came across the other day. I use another one, but the thing that really appealed to me about uh, this particular one was that you can use it on an unlimited number of Facebook groups. So the one that I have been using, uh, I could use it for two Facebook groups. This one is unlimited. So um, uh, now these, these Facebook groups are ones that you own. You can't use it on someone else's group. You can only use it on ones that you are an administrator uh, of, which are ones that obviously uh, you've set up. Um, but again, good way to grow your list uh, because uh, you know if you're gathering people in Facebook, uh, you're not sending them to a, uh, an opt-in page on your uh, website, which is another good place to grow your list. But uh, because people are already on the uh, platform, I think people spend something like 24 24 minutes a day. Maybe I've got that wrong. That was 24 minutes a day on social media. I'm sure it's a lot more than that. Uh, but because they're all they're already there, then uh, it's a uh, great place to uh, get subscribers uh, to your list. So that one there. Um, oh, and it's a Chrome extension. You do have to run it on the Chrome browser. Um, but um, uh, but yeah, it, it sort of operates uh, in the background when you're in your uh, Facebook uh, group. So. All right, so that one there is groupleadscollector.com. And that there is a roundup of the online tools and apps for this week. So any standouts there, any that'll take you down that uh, rabbit hole where you uh, just won't do any work because, uh, or you don't want to do any work and you're looking for an excuse not to, which one of these tools is going to be that tool that'll sort of have you spending the whole day sort of uh, looking at it? Just drop into chat the ones you love or I bet you might can tell us. Five which desk. one is that, Mike? Type desk. Five yep. Massive time saver that really got highly recommend it. So a couple of other uh, votes for type desk there. Any others that uh, people like? Viral snare. There we go. Think of it. <laughs> yes, uh, Jane, you have a beagle there that would be a absolute movie star on uh, viral snare. <laughs> Yeah, group collector is great. Uh, you know, if you, if you are using uh, Facebook groups for uh, collecting leads and growing community, great for that. It doesn't work on LinkedIn. Uh, LinkedIn have got other tools. Uh, I did uh, sort of show another tool the other day for those that are on LinkedIn or a few weeks back. So uh, maybe I'll bring that back on, uh, on again as well too. All right. Well, that is our roundup of uh, cool online tools for this week. 